Well, good morning, everyone. And uh, today what I want to do is just create a very quick video. I opened up a channel in Microsoft Teams and it should appear now under the general channel. We'll continue using the general uh, channel for general information, anything related to the course, I'll continue using that, that channel. But this second channel called videos is a space for any of you that need to complete a video assignment. This is a, an alternative to, let's say, using Canva or uploading to YouTube or even your, your personal Google account or even SharePoint, your own um, edu account using your own uh, university email. Uh, this is an alternative to using those spaces. So if you're not familiar with Teams, you can go into this channel and create uh, a video. And if you are on a computer, which I think is easiest, I think you can do this also on your cell phone, but you are essentially creating as if you were going to meet online a, a video chat and you have an option to invite others. If you're working on a team project, you might all unite or join in the, the session at the same time. But if you're just creating a video for yourself, you can create this video chat and not invite anyone as I'm doing here. And when you open up the, uh, the screen, when you're in the session, if you're on a PC, if you click more at the top right hand corner of your screen, there's an option that says record and transcribe. And you can begin the recording as I've done here, and this will uh, create a recording, right? And so once you have completed this session, what I would do is I would go in and, and stop the recording and then leave the session. I would say in the meeting, you actually have a, an option to leave the session or in the meeting. I would end the meeting to conclude the whole, the whole session. And let me see if I can try this by sharing my screen. I'll show you where the video of the recording will reside. It'll, it'll be in the files tab under uh, the videos channel, but let me see if I can share my screen because this is also what you're going to do whenever you create a, let's say a presentation. It's not just a talking head video where you're actually going to show some slides. You're going to want to use the screen share. And so I'm going to try to do that right now. So I'm going to share my screen. And I should be sharing my screen now. And notice I here I'm in the videos channel. And if I click uh, files, it doesn't appear now, but when I conclude this session, it should automatically create a folder called recordings. And in this files tab under the, the recordings uh, folder, you should have the actual video. It should have the file. All right, so this is where you can, or this is how you can create a video. And then you would share, as you have done in the past, share the link to the video that now is going to be in Microsoft Teams to the Teams assignment whenever you're submitting the assignment for, uh, for, uh, for the class. All right, so I'll go ahead and stop sharing. And that's what I wanted to share with you. I give you an alternative to creating a video. So again, you don't have to use your personal space for these videos. You can always, once you've created the video, move the video somewhere else. If it's for the purposes of your e-portfolio, you can uh, easily move it to your own SharePoint uh, file. And that's actually what I would suggest that you do because uh, any files that you create in this space for our classes is going to be temporary in the sense that once the class is finished, um, these classes don't stay out there forever. Uh, the videos will eventually be deleted. And so it's pretty good. I think it's good practice to once you have completed the file or completed the video, then move the file. In this case, I would suggest to your SharePoint space again so you don't take up any personal space from let's say a google doc or google drive um, or any other space that you're using where you're limited to uh, the size or the amount of space that you have all right so wanted to share that with you if anyone has questions about 
getting around Microsoft Teams, creating a chat like this. Let me know if anyone wants to meet online briefly to run a test to see how how it works. Uh, I'm certainly open to do that as, as well. So try it, test it, and you can always do what I'm doing here and test it, record just a few seconds of a video and uh, see if it works. And then always go back, then you can uh, delete the, the, the video if, if you're just testing it, okay? So that's what I would do. I would test it beforehand to see how it sounds, see how it looks, see that you're able to create the video and the file. And then once you've completed it, you can always delete it if you're just testing it. All right, so we'll stop there. Again, let me know if you do have any questions about creating a video in Microsoft Teams. Okay, this is a follow-up video to the uh, initial video that I created showing you how to create a, a video in Microsoft Teams. Now that it's been completed and the file has been created in Teams, I wanted to show you how to find it or where to find it, and also then your options on how you can move that file wherever you need to. So I'm going to share my screen. And again, we're in the videos channel. Make sure that you're in the videos channel, not the general channel whenever you're going into files because each channel has its own group of, of files. And as I mentioned in the prior video, a folder has been created called recordings. And if I select that, it's gonna give it the either default title or if you change the title in the, in the moment when you created the, the video chat, it will it will be named whatever you name the the chat but i'm if i click on this link it's going to open up and i've already done it here it's going to take me to my uh, sharepoint account uh here and this is the video this is where it currently resides now by default it's going to have an expiration date of 120 days so after 120 days after having created the video it's going to automatically be deleted so you can decide on if you want to change that date let's say to the end of the semester you can you can add a specific date in this case for this particular video i selected no expiration date because this might be a video that i use in the future but you can decide on on what date you want to either have it automatically deleted or you can just leave it out there um so but i would suggest once you have created the video that you move it some some place it's perfectly fine for the purposes of an assignment typically to to leave it here and have it you know meet some kind of uh, class requirement for an assignment but in many cases the videos that you create especially if you're thinking about an e-portfolio you might want to keep this video uh, either permanently or more longer term so I want to give you some options on how you can do that. The first option is clicking the ellipsis here, these three dots. You have an option to download the, uh, the video. Of course, you also have an option to delete, but let's say you want to move it somewhere else to, let's say, uh, a YouTube channel. Maybe you want to submit it to a Google Drive or anywhere else. You can download the file to your local computer and then and do whatever you would like with that video. That's one option. Within SharePoint, which is where we are now using Microsoft Teams, you can move it directly to your SharePoint without having to download it and upload it again. And if you select Move To, and you select My Files, this should take you to your files in SharePoint using your, your uh, institution account. In my case, these are my folders let's say i want to move it to recordings i would just select the the folder and click move here in this case i'm not going to do that at this time but this is where you can easily move from sharepoint in microsoft teams for the class to your personal uh, student account using your uh, username and password that you use to sign into microsoft 365. Uh, this is a very seamless way very quick way to move it to your own personal space directly within SharePoint, directly within Microsoft 365. So basically those are the, I think, two options that are gonna be most applicable in our case. If you're familiar with Clip, 
Chimp, you can use this to edit the video. This is a, an app that is packaged with Microsoft 365, and it's just another video editing software that you might find useful if you create a video and you need to edit the video. I'm not going to go into it in this short video here, but do know that this is where you can access ClipChamp. You have it uh, as, as students of uh, the, uh, the university. You have access to, to this information, this, these apps, so I would uh, take advantage of it. So I hope this helps. Again, if you do have any questions or issues uh, getting around Microsoft Teams, creating a video, editing a video uh, for the purposes of an assignment, don't hesitate to let me know. Reach out to me, and we can also meet online if we need to to experiment if you're new to Microsoft Teams and you're just getting started creating a video in this platform.